My name is Paul Nurkula. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm known on Instagram as NurkFPV. Can I use a pop filter to save you from looking at my face? FPV drone racing or first person view drone racing is really the process of using goggles such as these to fly a drone like this from the perspective of this camera. So in my goggles, I see the perspective of this camera and I fly around the world as if I'm a bird or Superman. Obviously, this is an oversimplification of what it's like to do drone racing. I've learned to build this drone from the ground up. I can actually take every piece apart, put it back together. You know, when I take it and I smash it into a million pieces flying it at 80 miles an hour, I have the ability to go pick up all of those pieces like an Easter egg hunt and reassemble Humpty Dumpty and make it fly again. My overall strategy for Instagram tends to come from the fact that within a, an FPV drone flight, a drone racing flight, there's usually these moments that you can pull out that are the most exciting. And then I use that moment as the post, the thing to share, the thing to bring people into that day with me. My biggest social media bump uh, happened back in fall of about 2017. My friends and I were out flying in the Truckee River Valley. It's this beautiful scenic highway that connects California and Nevada. And we were flying up in the mountains when my friend tapped me on the shoulder and had me turn around and fly down the mountain to, to kind of dance around a, a passing freight train. And I went over it, under it, through it, into it. And uh, I posted that video on my YouTube actually and it went completely viral. Um, Two million views in the last couple of years. So in contrast with my, my YouTube channel, which had a very big like immediate following, Instagram was about you know dedication, putting in the work and finding the content that people wanna see over time. A type of video that I post that often does very well is chase footage. Um, so these tiny little FPV racing drones are very capable in that they can move at high speeds and stay very close to something else going through the air. I was chasing around uh, an RC car through the City Museum of St. Louis and, uh, and that, that video went to like 40,000 views or something like that. It surprised me. Another one that I did recently was I was chasing an RC plane with a couple other drones also in frame and you know keeping three things in frame in air at 40, 50 miles an hour is pretty impressive looking and the, the viewership reflected that. Using my machine to capture another subject tends to be the best case scenario for, for Instagram posts involving drones. Instagram has opened up a lot of different doors for me. I had an opportunity to work with Mini Cooper USA, with Polaris, with um, you know different kinds of professional athletes around the world. One of my good friends, his name is Gabby Chavez, at Cannonball FPV on Instagram, and uh, he's an, a professional IndyCar driver. I probably should have read the waiver. Read <laughs> the waiver next time to find print. It's awesome to see my hobby and this thing that I'm passionate about bring people together from around the world from different disciplines and to join around this cool footage that they get to see and experience from a new perspective. The thing that gets me back out the door to go flying and to go sharing and to, and to, and to create more content is 100% the community. It's, it's always an opportunity to go meet new friends, to fly with people of different walks of life from around the world. Once you're behind the goggles, like everyone is the same, right? It doesn't matter if you're 12, 70, black, white, Everything comes together and everyone shares this passion and people are instantly friends. Originally when I started, I saw an opportunity to become one of the best at something. Um, my previous career was as a software engineer and you know I looked at that industry and I said, you know, I'm never gonna be one of the best programmers in the world. But I sat back and I realized like I also have a passion for drones and drone racing and I thought maybe I have a shot at becoming one of the best drone racers in the world to make a mark in some way. And while that was an initial motivation, I started drone racing because I wanted to be one of the best, but I keep doing it because I want to bring people together. And that's how you get off the ground with drones. <laughs> Your buddies will love that. <laughs>